Now, when I lived here 40 years ago, I would come down here and collect mussels, oysters, and even the Sydney Rock oysters came from Sydney Harbour. Today, no more. And it's very sad that pollution has literally made it, these shellfish and fish toxic to eat. But there are people who are still ignorant of that. I've seen them come down and pick at the oysters. I see them fishing, catching fish and taking them home to eat. They must have a cast iron stomach. Are you going to eat the plant then? Oh yeah, I think so. You don't think it'll poison you? Uh, no, no, we ate one, we ate one Wednesday night. We had a couple. Oh, and it was good? Yeah, it tasted awesome. Yeah, not sick in the stomach? Oh, you got it? Nah, no, not sick, not sick at all. I think if you ate a lot of them, it'd be a different story. Totally different story. Sydney harbours numerous coves and inlets are seemingly a safe place to swim. As I watch the cormorants dive for their supper, I know as a fellow diver, it's not all so safe down there. The harbour does have a few nasties. If you are a lucky diver, you may glimpse the shadowy outline of a grey-nosed shark cruising by. You'll probably freeze when a big bull ray passes, as it's known to kill unexpectedly. Several divers have been bitten when disturbing sleepy wabigong sharks. The smaller creatures are the greater worry. This scorpion cod has 12 venomous spines. The deadly stonefish has 13. Unluckily, its sting is far worse. Only the blue ringed octopus is dangerous. This common one is just creepy and is catching dinner. urchins become pin cushions if you tread on one. The spines are toxic and painful and break off beneath the skin. Big jellyfish are common in the harbour and they do sting. But turtles like them. It's 5am and I'm down at the Sydney Fish Market in Piermont, ready for one of the world's largest auctions. More than 55 tonnes of fresh seafood is auctioned off each day. Thank you. Thank you. Just wanted to see what it have a check in. People queue for an early behind the scenes tour. The auction uses a computerized Dutch clock system originally developed for the sale of tulips. When the auction clock starts, the auctioneer sets a predetermined price for any species based on what that product was selling for this morning or yesterday. And unlike a normal auction, Ben, the price starts at a higher price and runs down. Once one of the buyers thinks that's a realistic price for today, he will hit the button and stop the clock, setting the price. Large yellow tail buyers, clock A. Extra is two sixes and a seven buyers. Two sixes and a seven. Hang on from the other side. Why is it in the other side? Lobster buyers! 40 up there, 40 up there. Just give me the $40. 40 dollar I got down there to USA. Oh, here we go. 33, 33. Right down there, got a $12 start. $12 anywhere. 12 I got up there, 12 dollar up there, 50 up there, 12, 50, 30, 30, 50, 30, 50, 40, 14 dollar here. 14 dollar I got up there, 14 dollar anywhere. Anything at 14, 14 down there to Farrell. Mud creep! 1, 2, 3, 5, 28. 28 I got up there, 28 dollar up there, 28 dollar up there, 50 up there, 28, 50 I got. 28, 59 up there, 50 up there, 29, 50, 30, 30 dollar here, 30, 51. 31 dollar up there, 50 up there, 2 here, 32 dollar here, and it's been 32, 32, 53. 33 dollar up there, and it's been 33, 33 down there to Woodstock. Yes. Wherever you live in Sydney, it's likely your seafood dinner came from here.